in the following graph is y a function of x. So in order for y to be a function of x, for any x that you input into the function, any x for which the function is, is defined, so let's say we have y is equal to f of x, so we have our little function machine, it should spit out exactly one value of y. If it splits out multiple values of y, we don't know what f of x is going to be equal to. It could be equal to any of those possible values for y. So let's see if this, for this graph, whether for a given x, it spits out exactly one y. Well, the function seems to be only defined, so the domain of this function is x is equal to negative 2. That's the only place where we have a definition for it. And if we try to input, if we try to input negative 2 into this little this little black box, what do we get? Do we get exactly one thing? No, we put a negative 2 here, we could get anything. Negative 2, the point negative 2, 9 is on, is, is on this relation. Negative 2, 8 is on this relation. Negative 2, 7, negative 2, 7.5, negative 2, 3.14159. They're all on these. So if you put a negative 2 into this relation, you actually get you actually get, essentially, you actually get an infinite set of values. It could be 9, it could be 3.14, it could be 8, it could be negative 8. You get an infinite number of results. So since you, it does not map to exactly one output of this function, the following graph, in the following graph, y is not a function of x.